How much does time matter, and how much does it cost us? If we consider life as the flow of time rather than a constant succession of experiences, we risk losing sight of the most important thing. The circular movement of the clock hands, or the falling of sand in the hourglass, is not our life, but merely the representation we have chosen to adopt to recognize changes in the infinite flow of the universe. If we worry more about time than about living, we don't enjoy the reality in front of our eyes, because time sucks everything back in the same instant we observe it, or in the moment we touch it. Urgency and haste, which are the opposite of listening and awareness, are enemies of our inner growth. We must learn to use time and not let it use us, even if its passing scares us because it accompanies us to the end of our existence in this space-time plane. We are more terrified by the idea of losing our mortal container and everything we have accumulated than by the idea of not having understood the meaning of our journey here and now.